Hi, this is problem 2 from the 2018 AIM-1. The number n can be written in base 14 as ABC, can be written in base 15 as ACB, and can be written in base 6 as ACAC, where A is greater than 0. Find the base 10 representation of n. Okay, this is a numerological base problem where we usually want to express all numbers in terms of powers of the base. So the first number is base 14, so we would write that as a times 14 squared plus b14 plus c. So that's one way to express n. For the base 15 number, a times 15 squared, c times 15 plus b. That's the second way to express n. And for the third case, we have a times 6 cubed plus c times 6 squared, a6 plus c. Let's reduce this a bit. So that's the third way to express n. And since we have these numbers in their bases, we know that the numbers a and c have to be from 0 to 5, and we know that a is not equal to 0. So we have that A is in this range. We have C in this range. And B is a base 14 number. So B is in this range. Okay, so now we want to take the differences between these equations to generate some more useful equations. And we usually try to create equations that have relatively small coefficients. So when I see an opportunity to do that, we take equation 2 and subtract equation 3, and that'll create a small coefficient for a. So equation 2 minus equation 3 will generate 3a plus b, 22c. So that looks very attractive. Let's find one more. If we take 3 minus 1, that'll give us 26a, 36c, 14b, divide up by 2. Okay, that's fairly small, not as good as the first one though. Now the first one is really attractive because since a is 1 or greater, we know that c can't be 0. So c would have to be 1, 2, or 3. So the right side of this equation would have to be something like 22, 44, etc. But no matter how we choose a and b, we can never get to 44. So the right side of this equation has to equal 22, and now we can figure out what values of a and b satisfy the right side being 22. And there are not too many values that satisfy that. If we make a mini table, we'll find that a of 3 b of 13, c of 1, that satisfies it. 4, 10, 1, that too satisfies it. 5, 7, 1 is the last set of values that satisfy this equation. So we only have three possibilities, and we need to check these against this equation. And we notice that for the first equation, the right side is too large to be satisfied by the left side. For the last equation, the left side is too large to be satisfied by the right side. So 1 is really the only one that has an opportunity to satisfy this equation, so let's check and see if that's in fact true. Plug this in, 13 times 4, 18 times 1. This is 52, 70. Okay, that checks out, so that validates that this is in fact the correct solution. So now let's find a, try to find out how to express n. Um, the third equation is probably the easiest. So we find that n is equal to 4 times 2, 2, 2. That's 37. Nine twenty-five. final answer.